In this short video today, we are going to learn how to uh, set up and play withering waves on uh, Linux. Because if you don't know, a recent GE Proton update actually uh, included a fix for getting withering waves actually playable on the linux desktop so as you can see here ge proton if you don't know what that is it's a custom proton runner that lots of people like to use uh there was a release that came out ge proton 10-8 uh, and as you can see here and proton fix to set steamos equals one for withering waves dash dash game is now playable uh so what this means is that they've added the fixes into ge proton you don't have to use any type of like uh environment variable for a launch command all you need is this runner and you should be able to play the game now sadly this only works on the steam version of withering waves uh, if you are trying to play it through outside of steam either through the epic game store or you have just a launcher itself uh, you are not able to actually install the game and play because the launcher for some reason uh, won't appear when it launches uh, like it's able to launch uh, but it's like invisible so you can't actually install the game and then click play at all so you have to use the uh, steam version if you want to play withering waves so what you'll need is an app called proton plus uh, this is to get ge proton installed into steam so that you can actually use the runner uh, you can easily get this from your either from maybe your distros repo but this is already on the flat pack or flat hub repo so you can easily get it from the software store that you have on your uh, linux distro or linux desktop and after you have it installed you can open it and we want to uh, select the GE Proton which will bring down a drop down list of all the releases and we just want to grab uh, the 10-8 release or for you if you're watching this there's probably newer versions so you can select the newest version because those patches will most likely still be there and you want to click the of course you want to click the download button on the runner and after it's downloaded if you have steam opened you need to restart it so steam can detect the new runner uh, if of course if you don't have steam open i would open steam and then on your games here we want to right click on withering waves and then we want to do properties compatibility force compatibility and then select the ge proton 10-8 runner and that is it if we do click play here we are able to show uh, some gameplay of it now the question is will you get banned for using these patches on this custom proton runner uh most likely not because what they've done is they've added the steam os type patches because if you don't know you can play i'm pretty sure you can play withering waves on steam os or a steam deck uh, but you can't play it on linux desktop so they figured out a way uh, for this to work on Linux desktop by basically spoofing in a sense that uh, you're on like Steam OS and so you're able to play the game. So really, they can't really know if uh, you are on Linux desktop or not because they'll just say, oh, it's just another Steam OS or Steam Deck user. And as we can see here, we do actually have some gameplay to show. Uh, yeah, you can see it's working. Uh, this is like the intro of the game. When it comes to uh, FPS and all that, I don't really see any problems besides not being able to uh, increase the FPS cap uh, to 120 uh, because well for some reason uh, my friend who was playing this yesterday was able to set the FPS to 120 but for me I can't set it to 120 uh, on the frame rate so I'm a bit unsure as to why I can't set the frame rate to 120 I should be able to but I'm not uh, but in terms of the game, it is working and you should be able to, or maybe you'll be able to uh, set the FPS to 120 so you're able to get just a high FPS because one of the issues that I experience when, uh, especially in this game, is I get VR flicker on my monitor so I can see that right now and it's not very comfortable, I would say, uh, while playing it. But if you don't have VR or if you do have VR flicker, you can easily turn it off in the display settings. So that's basically the end of this uh, video, rather short I would say, because there's really nothing else you need to do for now. At some point, uh, Valve will probably uh, introduce some type of either environment variable that you can force to just play the game on normal Proton, or maybe they'll add these patches that GE Proton has, uh, if there's no in-game bans or anything that's like sketchy you could say. 
So if you guys did enjoy uh, this short video, definitely give it a like, definitely subscribe to the channel also. And thank you to my supporters, I'll show a text across the screen and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.